going to be talking about dividing larger numbers using place value and grouping. Well, we all know that division is breaking into even groups. And one way you can do that is thinking about place value. You can also think about your tens cubes. We have the one hundredths flat, the tens rod, and the one. If you think about those things, it can help you to divide. Well, first of all, I'm going to make my five groups. And I know to make five groups because five is my divisor. One, two, three, four, five. So my goal here is to evenly divide 165 among my five groups. Now I can do what we did in third grade, let's pass out one to each one until we get to 165, but that would take forever. So instead I'm going to start with tens. I'm going to start with my tens rod in my mind. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So far we've used 50. I'm going to subtract that from 165. I have 115 left. Could I pass out 10s again? Sure, because 115 is more than 50. So let's try it again. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I did 50 again. Now I'm going to subtract it all another time. I did it two times. And I don't have to regroup here. It's just the same. It would be 65. Could I do it again? Yes, I can, because 65 is still more than 50. So let's do another 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I'm going to put 50 here so I know what to subtract. 65 minus 50 is 15. Could I do 10 again? No, because I don't have enough. So now I'm going to move on to 1's. Now 15, take away, um, so I'm going to do over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I was able to pass out my 15 ones evenly to each group, making three in each group. I'm going to put 15 here, and subtract 15 here, and I got to zero. I am done dividing because I finally got to zero. So I see that in each group I have 10, 20, 30, 3. I didn't have to do that that many times, I just chose to. So my quotient is, in each group, there are 33. 